In this tutorial we'll be creating this 3D stroke text reveal without using any plugins and I'll be showing you the process from start to finish. First of all quickly I just want to show you why we won't be using Saber for this one since it's probably the obvious answer for a stroke effect. So if you're gonna plan on making any 3D camera angles or such, you can see Saber is getting kind of pixelated here because it's not a 3D effect. Compare the two, this is using Saber, which you can see gets pixelated, and this is using a shape layer. So it's much better and sharper if you plan on using any 3D angles. Let's start off by creating your text here. And the first thing you wanna do is select your text and we'll go here to switch to the swap, fill and stroke. So basically we just created a stroke out of the text layer. This works with any font. And you can go ahead and increase the size here if you wish to, but I think keeping it at one is going to be enough. Then right click your text, create, create shapes from text. And this just creates a shape layer out of your text layer. Let's go ahead and make these two 3D and let's create a camera. And here I'm just gonna split my camera into three pieces. So let's say about two seconds at four seconds. And this is gonna be my main reveal. And we can start adding some keyframes to our camera here. So I'm gonna hit P, holding down Shift and hit A. Bring up these two and make two keyframes. Let's move this about one second here. And we're just gonna zoom out out of the text on our final frame. So if we select these two and hit F9, go into the graph and create something like this. So this will be our final reveal. And here's a little trick I like to use for creating a continuous camera movement which you might not like, but this is what I use. So by creating a null object, I'm making it 3D and I'm parenting the camera to this null object. Now, if I go to the first frame here and go to position, set a keyframe, I'll go to about seven seconds here and I'm just gonna move the Z position backwards like so. So by doing so, we create this continuous type of movement so it doesn't look like it stops. And yeah, this is just a quick trick that I like to use. And we can go ahead and start positioning our different cameras uh, the way you want to. So let's just create some close-ups here quickly. And I'm just going to create some keyframes here for the rotations and the positions. So we can get an interesting look. Okay, so this is the animation I created. Just two simple angles that is pretty closed up and a final reveal. So now let's go ahead and actually add the stroke effect. Let's select our shape layer expand it and we'll select this play button here under add and select trim paths. Now here we're gonna set a keyframe starting from zero. Let's set a keyframe and right about here, we're gonna set this to a hundred. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9. And if you want to, you can go ahead and set a keyframe for the offset as well. So once the stroke is animating, your starting point doesn't stay still. So you can go ahead and set this to like 30 on your final keyframe. So this is really a quick way to create a stroke effect without using any plugins, as you can see. And now we're just gonna be adding some glow and some depth of fields. So if we go into our shape layer here and select the mask tool, we can change the stroke color here to whatever you want to. Let's go ahead with something blue and we'll start adding a glow effect to this layer. Just play around with these settings to your liking. And I'm gonna duplicate this glow and increase the radius on this one. So far, we've got this type of glow, which is fine. And let me go ahead and just create a background here. Make it black and drop it below. Go into my original text layer and unhide it. And we'll go back into the stroke here and swap it back. So we basically have the full text and an outline as well. And we can go ahead and set a keyframe for it to appear here. So let's go back to here. And we'll set a keyframe from zero to 100 like so and we're also gonna fade out our stroke here just a bit further like so okay so we just have this kind of transition from the stroke to the original text all right let's go ahead and pre-compose this whole thing and i'm gonna duplicate it and let's go to the first frame and now we're gonna create this light rays that you've seen in the previous one so we can do this by quickly adding a cc radial fast blur and increase this to 100, set the layer to additive, and move the center point like so. You can see we get these nice little rays here, which adds a lot to our stroke effect. The only thing you wanna do is make sure you split the layer. I'm doing this by holding Control Shift D, and every time there's a new angle, you just wanna move the point of the rays 
to be aligned with your shot. And for our final angle here, we can go ahead and set a keyframe for the amount and the opacity of this layer and just do something like amount 50 and opacity zero. And we'll actually move the opacity a bit further. So it just creates this shrinking raise type of effect here. Let's go back to our main comp here and add a gradient to our background. And we'll make this like dark grayish. Let's uh, make it radial and swap the colors. I'm just gonna move this right here. Let's go back to the pre-comp here and we can start adding some color corrections. So I'm gonna make an adjustment layer and add a curves effect. And just create a basic S shape here. Like so, maybe go to the reds and lower this down a bit. Okay, now one more thing I wanna add is noise. And this is optional, but it always makes it look kinda nice. So by adding a noise and setting it to 15, you get this Neuer type of look here. And this is optional again, but if you like it, there you go. And the last thing that's left to add is some depth of field. So since our scene is in 3D, we have two cameras here. And by hitting AA twice on it, you can enable the depth of field. And now all you have to do is play with the focus distance until it's focused on the specific area you need to. So this seems fine here. We'll go to the second one, AA, enable it, and we'll choose a point of interest here. And yeah, this is basically how you create this 3D stroke text reveal. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.